All right, I'm working on the uh, rifle today. I wasn't going to work on Saturday, but I figured what the heck, I might as well get this started. I brought the uh, clay upstairs to my uh, computer table. It's warm up here, and uh, I had some problems with the uh, barrel. I'll tell you about it in just a second. Time to play with some clay. I went down and picked up the uh, the barrel or the uh, clay, and the barrel was loose, so it had not been glued uh, to the wood like I hoped it would be. So what I've done is where the hand of the uh, uh, Jim Bridger will be holding on to the rifle, I went ahead and wrapped the uh, top of the uh, barrel um, from uh, clay to clay and that will hold it in place. Um, you're going to have to be very careful. And also, I applied a lot of clay uh, on the, uh, the the barrel and the uh, ramrod, too, to kind of hold them in place, too. Because that part's going to be hidden. It's going to be down below, or down facing his uh, shirt. So, I'm going to try to get some detail done today and see what happens. Now is going to be a hard part. Getting this uh, lock of the rifle created. I don't have the best lighting in here. In fact, I got really bad lighting right now because I had a flicker on my camera. And I think it was probably because of that uh, fluorescent that I was using. I'm not going to waste my time doing this on the other side because it's not going to be showing anyway. Okay, I gotta do the trigger guard. I think I'm gonna do the trigger guard last. Because if I do it now, I think I might screw up any work on the hammer. And boy, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this hammer. It's gonna be small. I mean, you can tell by the photograph that I'm working off of how small it is. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to do this separate from the gun. The key is not to give up, but to per persevere.
You know how hard this is for a 77-year-old with bad eyesight? <laughs> That looks pretty good. If I can just make it last, let's see. I gotta try. Okay. Now the, uh, place where the cap goes the uh, part that takes the uh, cap is a little smaller than the uh, hammer yeah. This is the nipple that the uh, cap will fit on. Doing it off the gun worked out good. Okay, I gotta make this uh, long trigger guard. This is the part that's going to scare me. If I don't get it right. Ah. I think I need to... It actually starts behind the, the hammer. Now I'm making it long, uh, thicker than it should be. But that's because I got no other choice because it's got to be cast. Well, that's it. That's the uh, rifle for now. And uh, I'll pick this up next week. I wasn't qu quite sure I was going to be here Monday. That's why I'm here today. 
so we'll see what happens. Pretty damn close. Um, the trigger guard's a little bit big, but I don't know how to do it any smaller than that. And I think it's gonna be fine. What worries me is that barrel is still loose on there so they're gonna have to be real careful when they make a mold of this well I don't know how they're going to do that either all right see you next week good night everybody if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel it really would help me also check out the link below this video it will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.